Well, hello there, and today I'm going to go over a little band or group or whatever you want to call them that's relatively new, and that's actually all right. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to do a little recommendation of Beach Bunny. So yeah, that's that's their name. And after the success of the song Prom Queen, Beach Bunny... Um, you know, I went viral on TikTok, but Beach Bunny became a pretty uh, popular uh, artist, you know, making the singles charts and everything. They're originally from Chicago, Illinois, and the song Prom Queen came out in 2018. And to me, it's just proof that if you want to go viral with a song, you can still do that, you know, and... Uh, that's sort of a reliable resource if you're a musician. So you might want to try uploading some songs on TikTok or I guess in a variety of different places. And it's something I really I really need to take that advice myself, but I really just haven't been doing that a whole lot. But I, I do appreciate that, you know, uh, Beach Bunny, whose real name is Lily Trefilio. And, uh, but I appreciate that there are some examples where people have done that very successfully. It started off as a solo project by Lily, and uh, it became a band that consists of her, John Alvarado, and Anthony Vaccaro. I guess it was also a four piece at some point, but now I guess it's just three members. I, as far as I know, right at this time. In 2015, Lily Trefilio released the first EP, which was titled Animalism. She had a follow up called Pool Party in 2016, and another one called Cry Baby in 2017. And that's around the time she did expand into a full band. So sometimes that's, you know, what you want to do to have a more full sound. And, you know, I found I found that some people, as they grow as an artist, or however you want to put it, they they find out that there's a little bit more strength in numbers, I suppose. You know, you might have uh, people, you know, contributing their own energies and their own ideas to a musical project. And it sounds like that was the case here. To me, Beach Bunny represents the idea that you can still be successful musically even if you just have a home studio. Now, I don't know, it may, maybe it wasn't just a home studio thing, but it, it kind of sounds like it was. And it's I do like these DIY, almost rags to riches stories that can happen in music. You know, a lot of those rags to riches things, they're fake you know you find out that oh this person actually did have some rich people helping them out early on or whatever um so it wasn't just wasn't necessarily just market forces alone but you know sometimes you do have a more genuine type of story like that and it's not just nepotism or or what have you so really that's all i have to say about this band just that they're you know like sort of they, they at least inspire in me the idea that you can be a plucky underdog and sort of succeed or, or however you want to put it. I think even though there's plenty of myth making involved in that kind of stuff, I think when there are genuine examples, it can make anybody a little bit more optimistic and a little bit of optimism, I think, can go a long way. So, yep, in a way... Beach Bunny represents the American dream. So on that note, I'm going to basically end this little mini episode for you. And uh, I do have another episode that I'm going to be publishing in, in a short amount of time here. That's more, I guess, uh, politically philosophical. So it's not all just music stuff on this channel or whatever. you. Well, is it a channel? I don't even know. I don't even know what you call these things that you put a podcast on, network, um, whatever, you know. But, you know, there's diversity. I'm going to be having more 
movie talk on here and TV shows and, I don't know, maybe eventually more book-related stuff. But we'll see.